From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Wingstop in the UK and the US. This is Food Wars. In the UK, we can get wing portions in four sizes. Eight wings, 10 wings, 12 wings, or a flavor craver wing platter, which comes with 24 wings and three dips. US wing stop, you can get your wings in 10, 15, 20, 30, hang on, and 30. Not enough, you say? I agree. Wingstop also does wings in orders of 50, 75, <laughs> and of course, 100 chicken wings. I'm in heaven right now. Bury me in these wings. I'm going in. Eh. I could do better, but we gotta move on. Sean Evans, I'm coming for you, buddy. So the portion sizes might be pretty different, but what about the wings themselves? We're gonna weigh 10 plain wings in the UK and do the same in the US to see how they match up. So 10 plain wings in the UK came to 290 grams, which is an average of 29 grams per wing. Oh, way higher, dude. 360 grams. I needed my calculator app to determine what 360 divided by 10 is, and it is, in fact, 36 grams. Wow. So our average is 36 grams per wing here in the US. What about chicken tenders? Well, in the UK, those come in two portion sizes, as a portion of three, or as a portion of five. And at Wingstop in the US, you can get your chicken tenders in orders of four, seven, 15, 20, and 30. Yes. I don't know what maniac is at a Wingstop and gets chicken tenders instead of wings. I mean, get if you like take your like 10 year old there. Let's weigh five chicken tenders here in the US. So five plain tenders in the UK weighs 230 grams. 200 what? Way over 300 on this one. We're over 300 and they try to pass this off as a tender. Bigger chunks of meat over here in the US. Bigger, tender chunks of meat. What about a side of fries? Well, in the UK, these come in two sizes. Regular and large. And in the US, our wing stuff fries also come in two sizes. Regular and large. How those look? We're gonna weigh them both to see what they come to. <laughs> That's not a good look for fries. <laughs> I don't know, how do I get this back in? <laughs> yep, also a brick. Also a brick. And the large portion came to 255 grams. Our regular is bigger than your large, UK. Okay. Oh, lost fry. 400 grams. Fountain drinks in the UK come in one size. It's 22 ounces, but unfortunately we weren't able to get one today. Wingstop in the US, you can get fountain drinks in two sizes. 20 ounce and 32 ounce. The Wingstop we went to did not have any 32 ounce cups. Dips in the UK only come in one size, and it's regular. We're gonna weigh a cup of ranch to see how much we get. Dips in the US come in two sizes, regular and this absurd tub. Look at this. First, we're gonna weigh this, the regular size. Now the big boy, I, I couldn't even guess how much this container weighs. Just guess. Before I do this? Yeah. Closer to 300. This is heavy. This is like half a bottle of ranch. Bro, it is 440, 440 grams of ranch. So fun fact about me, I've never actually had ranch before. This is not a common dressing in the UK. Um, it's just not really on menus. We prefer like a garlic mayonnaise or a ketchup. So I'm about to try my first ever ranch. See how it goes.
Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know if Wingstop Ranch differs to the classic ranch you might find in the States, but it's nice. If you want like a kind of cooling thing with a similar effect to mayo in that regard, but like a little bit more tang, a bit more seasoning. Yeah, you guys are doing it well. The biggest thing on the menu in the UK is this, the Flavor Craver Wing Platter. You get 24 wings, three dips, and no other sides, all for a price of £22.50. Biggest single menu item at the Wingstop in the US is this, the 100 Wing Party Pack. Okay, obviously you start with 100 wings. You can get up to six different flavors. I just got the same one. Four orders of large fries, four orders of veggie sticks, and eight dips. This is supposed to feed 13 people, or like you and three of your friends. You can get boneless or bone-in wings. If you go boneless, it's $94.39, and if you go all bone-in wings, it's $104.19. I gotta say, I'm generally a drums guy over a flats guy. I think it's just, the shape is great. It's just like a meat lollipop. And also it feels like you get more meat on there than you do on a flat. No, Harry, no. Drums are not good. Flats are way better. You can pull out both bones. You get all the meat off of it. With a drum, it's way harder to get the meat off. Don't be deceived by that shape. It's less meat. Flats. Flats! I have a flat head. <laughs> Here is everything you will only find on the menu at a UK Wingstop. And here are all the exclusive items you can get at a US Wingstop. We'll start with the chicken. There's actually one flavor of wing that we can get that you guys can't, which is this one. It's Brazilian citrus pepper. I'm gonna try the Brazilian citrus pepper using my patented wing eating technique. Get one of the bones up and then a little neat lollipop. Mm. Nice little freshness from the citrus, kick from the pepper. Not bad. So for exclusive wing flavors, you can get these two, the Bayou Barbecue and the Lemon Hot. We can also get any Wingstop flavor on the side. I don't know if you can get that in the UK. Another thing you can do at the US Wingstop is you can customize your fries and you can get regular or extra seasoning. So I got an extra seasoning of a seasoning you guys don't have in the UK, which is the garlic Parmesan. Look at the seasoning on this. I mean, they just dusted this thing, right? You know exactly what I'm going down. Yeah, yeah. These are Louisiana voodoo fries. They are topped with a cheese sauce, ranch, and Cajun seasoning. Our exclusive fry option is this, sweet potato fries. These come in sizes of regular or large, and you can also get them in the same seasonings as the regular fries. In my opinion, you guys aren't missing out on much with these. I just always think that sweet potato fries are worse than regular fries. They always cost more. They always come out soggy. It's just not worth it. Just stay with the regular. Outside of meat and potato, you can also get Cajun fried corn. Am I saying that right? It's fried. You can also get freshly baked rolls. Bread, baby. Bread. We also have one other exclusive side, which is this. It's a honey mustard slaw. We can also get booze from our wing stops. This comes in the form of two types of beer, and usually we would be able to get two types of wine. However, due to a reduced menu, currently they're not serving them. The three drink options you can get in the US are, oddly enough, sweetened and unsweetened tea. I don't know why we have tea in the UK does not. And also you can get this 52 fluid ounce Simply Lemonade. And finally, in the UK, you can finish off your meal with some churros. These come in portions of either six or 10. You have two crumb options, including Oreo or Lotus Biscoff. And then you can choose from one of two sources, either a sweet milk or some Dolce de Leche caramel. Mm. Delicious. What about desserts? Here's one you get in the US and not in the UK at a wing stop. The triple chocolate chunk brownie. Did I say that in the right order? Fantastic. I'm now gonna do something really stupid, which is attempt to eat the hottest wing on the wing stop menu, which is the atomic wing. These come with gloves, just to avoid getting it on your skin and then getting it in your eyes. I'm not good with spice, one thing to note. Ah, oh, man, I don't really want to do this, but hey, for the content, cheers. Yep, yeah, that's immediate. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> deep breaths, Harry, deep breaths. Harry's doing it, I'm doing it too. This is the hardest? 
I'm not a tough guy with the heat. This is not that hot. Yeah. It's not that hot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Ah. Oh, my tongue's kind of starting to hurt. <sighs> What's what they do on the uh, on Hot Ones one? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Wingstop doesn't disclose any of its nutritional information in the UK. They do disclose the nutritional information in the US, however, and there are some pretty interesting takeaways. Okay, let's start with this, the classic meal for one, an eight piece combo. I got four hot wings, four lemon pepper, regular fry, dip, regular Coke. This meal contains a total of 1,595 calories, along with a lot of your daily fat and sodium allowance. Interestingly, if you get the same meal but boneless wings instead, the calories go up to 1,711, roughly a 7% increase. Even more interestingly, the sodium in the meal rockets up to 5,258 milligrams, which is 228% of your daily allowance. So it looks like boneless wings are way saltier than bone-in wings, but they do contain slightly less fat. What's the most calorific wing at Wingstop in the US? That would be the boneless garlic parmesan wing, which clocks in at 112 calories for just one. The saltiest wing on the menu is the boneless original hot wing. Now it's less calorific than the garlic parmesan, but just five of these is your entire daily sodium allowance. The tenders at Wingstop are, as you might expect, more calorific than the wings. The most calorific flavor in the US? <gasps> garlic parmesan, where have I heard that before? That's not the saltiest tender. That crown goes to the Cajun Spice Tender. With 775 milligrams of sodium. Just three of these is your entire daily allowance. I didn't come here to not eat chicken tenders. Mm. What about the dips? Well, the least healthy dip on the menu is this. It's honey mustard. Just a regular portion of this in the US contains 367 calories, 33 grams of fat, five grams of saturated fat, 682 milligrams of sodium, and a slightly alarming 17 grams of sugar. As for the rest of the menu, you really wanna watch out for the fries. The most calorific single menu item on a Wingstop menu is a large portion of the Louisiana Voodoo fries. This serving alone, 910 calories, which is almost half of your daily allowance. If you're looking to cut down on sodium, you might want to avoid the buffalo ranch fries. They're slightly less calorific than the Louisiana Voodoo fries, however, they contain 2,880 milligrams of sodium. That's 125% of your entire daily allowance. In summary, Wingstop, maybe not the healthiest fast food chain. If you're looking to cut back on your sodium, definitely skip the boneless wings and maybe stick to regular fries and not the ones with these gross toppings. Now sadly, along with the nutrition, Wingstop UK also doesn't disclose its ingredients. Wingstop also does not disclose its ingredients in the US. So what do we know about what goes into the chicken? Well, for starters, in the UK, the chicken is not organic and not free range. All the chicken they use in the UK is also halal, which means it's suitable for Muslim people to eat. Now, it is unclear if the US chickens are free range or organic. All Wingstops say that they expect their chicken supplier to conform with USDA, FDA, state, and local regulations. However, they do not specify a grading, so for all we know, it could be grade C chicken, which can be misshapen, poorly fleshed, and, Jesus, and with no limit on the size, number of areas, or intensity of discolorations and flesh bruises. Wow, I wish I knew that a few minutes ago. <laughs> In better news, the fact that they refer to their tenders as tenders legally means that they have to at least be made of whole cuts of chicken breast and might be actual chicken tenderloins, which are in the inner pectoral muscles of the chicken breast. And that's pretty much all we can glean from the information that's publicly available. Why are you so sneaky, Wingstop? Is it because you know we'll eat it regardless? Correct. What the up? I should have waited before I went in that second wing. <laughs>